Howdy there, Internet students. It's Ms. Germanson again. Hey, uh, we're uh, I'm just going to talk about a few of the problems I noticed uh, quite a few people missed. First one was number four. So here's an important thing. You're, when you have a negative sign in front of a parenthesis, you have to distribute that negative into the parentheses. What I'm saying is that every part of this is being subtracted. So this five is being subtracted. So without parentheses, this looks like this. This is equivalent to this. Now, um, one way you can remember that is um, if there is no number there, you can put a one there. You could distribute a negative one, and that would ensure that you make this a negative five. Anyway, now that I simplify this, I get uh, the minus 2 and the minus 5 makes minus 7. So the correct answer would have been uh, A for that one. Okay, the next one uh, that some students had issues with is number 9. And that's this one right here. Um, what would be the degree of the monomial? Now, um, some of you might have got it wrong just because I was late to having my answer key, an answer in the answer key. So anyway, the answer is none. Um, that zero is a special case. Um, all other constants, like the number three or the number 49, um, their degree one, because you can write those as, um, I mean, their degree zero, because you can write those uh, x to the 0 is actually 1, so 3 times 1 is the same as 3, right? So there, so other constants like this one here are 0 degree. Um, but the number 0 itself, um, think about what I was just talking about, how that wouldn't work there. Um, so we just say there is no degree on the number 0. Anyway, all right, the next one we want to talk about is... Uh, was number 17 on your Google form. Which I think is this one right here. I'm going to just make sure of that. It looks like it was this problem right here, number 46. All right, so once again, it's got that negative there that we need to distribute. So um, so you're really not going to change any of these first numbers, but um, you're going to distribute the negative with all these numbers inside. So you have a double negative here. That makes it a plus 5r squared. And then you have a minus r because you have a positive here and a negative there. And you have another positive and a negative, so you have a minus 8. Now, combining like terms, we get negative uh, 9r to the third is the highest degree. And then we get plus 5r to the second. And then we get plus r. Uh oh, I see that the correct answer is actually not even here. Uh, so, so, yeah, that might have been the reason why some of you got that one wrong. Okay. Um, maybe that's what happened on this next problem, too. Uh, number... 19, I'm going to go over both of them because I'm not sure which one it was, but on uh, this one, again, we need to distribute this negative, so we get a plus 5pq to the 6th, and then a minus p to the 4th, q to the 4th, and then when we combine like terms, we can add this 5 with this 9, and that makes 14. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, there's actually, there's nothing else we can combine, right? So we end up with the highest degree term is this P to the fourth, Q to the fourth, so that goes first. And then we have plus 14 P, Q to the sixth, and then minus 11 P, so that would be A would be the correct response there. And then uh, the last one we're going to do is... On the last page here, we want to just add these two together. So 
So adding these two together, we're going to get negative 18x squared. Adding the 133 and the 95 gives us 228x. And then adding these two gives us 2300. So that would be answer C. All right. Hope that's helpful to you. We will talk to you soon.